Postacogla gives timeline on transfer activity. The Celtic FC manager Postacogla gives a timeline for new transfer activity. The next seven days will be interesting. The frenzy after yesterday's 6-0 demolition of Dundee, at Celtic Park hasn't been so high for over few years now. From the lows of losing 10 in a row, to the massive rebuild that was facing the club this year. The Celtic fans looked forward to this season with trepidation, rather than expectation. Over pre-season and in the first few European ties, the supporters could see glimpses of the style of football Angie Postacogla wanted to play, but what they could also observe is that the players we had in certain areas of the pitch, although their effort was commendable, were just not good enough to carry out Angie's instructions. That was then and what a difference one game makes. The outlook for the fans has never been more positive and with Postacogla only just dipping his toe into the transfer market, the Celtic faithful cannot wait to see what other gems he can unearth because going by Kyogo and Abada, Postacogla certainly has an eye for a player. The Celtic FC Mabaja gave the fans a small hint to when to expect incomings, and it looks like they won't have to wait too long to see some new recruits. I mean offers and potential, again, I've been at pains to say, I'd rather talk about the ones we've done and at the moment, there aren't any we've done. We're working on a few and on, as I said, I'm hopeful we'll get some couple of players in the squad in the next sort of seven days. The next seven days. The next seven days will let us see what Postacogla can unearth and that gives the new blood time to bed into the side before the Glasgow derby at the end of the month. The future is looking a lot brighter now than it did just a few short weeks ago. It hasn't taken long, but certain media figures have already been left backtracking with their title predictions. We all knew what was coming after the 2-1 loss at Hearts. Especially after Rangers had easily seen off Livingston 3-0 earlier in the day. It was supposed to lead to a grim season of transition for Celtic as our rivals romped their way to two in a row. However, one week later and there are already a couple who aren't as ready to commit to Rangers' dominance as they once were. Just as a 2-1 loss to Hearts shouldn't have led to disaster terminology, neither should a 6-0 win over Dundee make us think this is any more than a step forward. It's one win, and we can all see that. However, it was a big one, and the impact of it is being felt in the media already especially considering it coincided with Rangers losing 1-0 at Dundee United a day earlier. Chris Commons was bigging up Celtic after one week ago dismissing our title chances. John Hartson was at Celtic Park on Sunday in an official capacity for the club. The Welshman took his place as a pundit and co-commentator on the day as Celtic smashed six goals past Dundee in a satisfying performance. For the first time in a long time there's some optimism coming from the Celtic support. John Hartson kept the feel-good factor going into Monday afternoon after he praised new boy Kyogo Furuhashi for his incredible impact in his home debut. The Japanese star took the match ball home, scoring a hat-trick and announcing himself to Scottish football. The former Celtic striker has branded the striker special. We mustn't get ahead of ourselves, there will be times this season when things don't go our way. There will be ups and downs as Angie tries to find the right formula. It's a positive start for Kyogo and we can only hope he can keep this kind of form up later in the season. It's Monday and never forget Celtic fans. We shall never be mastered. Subscribe for more Celtic FC News Daily. Let roll up to the party, roll up